Greetings everyone, Fru here. Welcome to the demo hub. In today's demo, we're going to highlight the external network access. This feature recently went into public preview and should be available to Snowflake accounts across the world. The external network access is a super powerful capability that extends the functionality of your Snowflake platform to reach out to different services, APIs, webhooks, endpoints outside of your Snowflake environment securely. The links to the documentation will be in the description below. Why is this uh, a relevant feature to highlight? Snowflake is a, a super capable platform with data sets and the ability for you to activate that data with SQL, with Python, with Java, with Scala, you name it. But there is also a world that exists out there with services and APIs and functions that might not be native to your Snowflake environment, but you want to reach out and tap into those services to either process your data for syndication, data acquisition, translation, address validation, you name it. That's it. Let's uh, jump into our demo for today. A couple of things we need to get this demo up and running. First, we'll need a network rule. The network rule ensures security, fidelity over what endpoints you can reach out to. Obviously, you don't want everyone on the Snowflake platform reaching to any endpoint they want for any reason, right? So having that control, the fidelity, being able to lock that down to a specific least privileged set of endpoints becomes really powerful. Here we're creating a network rule, egress or reaching out. And the list for this is the open AI endpoint. What we're going to do with this is we're going to reach out to open AI. We know LLMs are very popular these days. Give it some data, give it a prompt and open AI will give us a result. On the channel, we've done demos on how to do that in Python, but the Python was running locally on the machine. So what if you can do that directly on your Snowflake environment without having to host Python code locally on your desktop? This opens up a whole world of possibilities. That said, we're going to create this uh, rule. Uh, the network rule has been created. Next, we're going to create a secret. And the secret is the way for us to authenticate into the endpoint in question, in this case, OpenAI. To leverage OpenAI, you need an API key. Go over to OpenAI, have an account, generate the key, and that key is what we need. Replace that with your OpenAI key. Pretty straightforward, and Snowflake takes care of storing that credential for you securely in the Secrets Manager. Next is creating the external access integration. Snowflake supports a number of integrations. There is a storage integration, network integration, now there is an external access integration. Uh, in this case, we're creating uh, an external access integration, leveraging the combination of uh, the network rule as well as the authentication secrets. This is uh, the first class object that allows us to uh, reach out from inside of our Snowflake instance to external services. Now, once you have that created, it's a matter of bringing that together to create your function, the UDF. Uh, we've done many demonstrations on creating UDFs uh, here on the channel. But here we need a prompt and a text. So this is what we're sending to the prompt. We're sending to OpenAI and the text we want for it to act on that prompt for. Pretty straightforward. I'm not going to elaborate too much on how to create a Python UDF in Snowflake. This assumes you are able to do that. But just to give you a, a quick highlight of it is a endpoint, bringing any packages we want. I'm also specifying the external access integration we need to, for this uh, code to work. Now, once you specify that, we're also referencing the secrets and bringing the API key from the secrets. So a combination of all of that will allow us to use external network access integration. Come in, read the secrets, get the API key, go in, reach out to the open AI endpoint and do a chat completion, basically sending the text. Again, links to all of this will be in the description below. Now, once we've done this, we now have a function called OpenAI function, which is this function above that takes two parameters, uh, the prompt and the text, and give us a response. Now, we all know how to call and invoke functions in Snowflake leveraging SQL, right? That is pretty trivial. In this case, simply calling that, tell me about Snowflake. And what is happening here is that prompt, the prompt and the text is being sent over to OpenAI. The OpenAI does its LNM work and the results are going to come back into environment. Here it gives us what Snowflake is all about. Pretty powerful. Tells us when it was founded by 
theory and the nuance and the team and goes into some details. Imagine going back and forth with this. This opens up a whole world of possibilities. Going back to some of the examples we've talked about, maybe doing address standardization. Ideally, this should be a native application in Snowflake, or you can do a secure data share with a function or, or another Snowflake account that has this uh, code implemented. But there are APIs there out in the wild that might not be on the Snowflake platform just yet. So in this case, you want to call and send your data and get your results back. Just because you are egressing data, you're sending data to some endpoint, the onus is really going to be on the team to ensure what endpoints you're using and sending the data to and locking down the results. Assume you have that taken care of. This then opens up that possibility for you to do more with your data. Here is on the screen, you can see a few potential use cases, but I'm sure the use cases are innumerable and the sky is the limit in terms of what you can do with this. Hopefully this eliminated this capability for you. Below, links to the documentation will be in the description below. As always, this has been through here with uh, Demo Hub highlighting the external network access. If you have any questions, as always, again, let me know. I'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next demo. Thank <laughs> you.